Hello, I'm here with Chaka Orgiaco. She's editor of a young um, African film magazine called Film Biz Africa. Uh, Chaka, tell us a little bit about Film Biz Africa. What kind of stories do you run? Okay, Film Biz Africa magazine is a unique bi-monthly print edutainment magazine. We run uh, mainly educational stories on film in Africa. We mainly look at the business aspect of film in the continent. That includes marketing, distribution, um, producers, directors, actors, actresses in the continent. We're really trying to give African film a face in the world. Okay. And um, do you think Africa, African film does not really have a face in the world, or is it just the wrong face? Or yeah, um, for a really long time, you know, when people think about Africa, they always look at, they always think about poverty. They think about you know, deserts. They think about malnutrition and whatnot. We have a very negative face at the moment. But I think one of the best ways to show a country, to show a culture, to show a people, is through film. Because you show that raw depiction. You show as a film. You can't lie in a film. You just can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kinds of stories are being told these days in films? In film in Africa. Um, one of the things that we focus on as in our magazine is we look at the positive stories that are being told. Things on HIV and AIDS prevention, things on environment conservation, um, things on societal developments and whatnot. There are many stories that are being told. Um, finally, the real African story is being told. Cultural focus is there. Um, there are a lot of developments, to be honest. There are a lot of developments. Okay. And you say that you focus on the business side of things. Yes. What aspect of you know the business side of things with African film production needs to be, you know, strengthened? To strengthen. Okay. Um, here's the truth. This is what happens in Africa. A lot of people go to film schools. After that, they produce a film. After the production, you know, they, they do post production, whatever. They launch it. After the launch, you hear nothing about the film. And here's what the problem is. People, there's so many African films out there, but there's not a single. Um, Inter, inter, how do how do they call it? Inter-country um, distribution system. There's not, there's not one. Meaning, you have that African film, but you just don't know where to get it. So what we do is, we have our website www.filmbizafrica.com, and we upload lots of trailers. We put a little synopsis, and then we put the price of the film, and then the contact details of the film producer. Um, we're still working on the website, trying to make it grow, trying to make it look better, trying to give it um, a lot more publicity, trying to get a lot more visitors to the site. But the ultimate goal of the site is to be a marketing and distribution platform for African filmmakers. And the filmmakers can use it at free will. They just go there yes. and, and, and do with it what they want. I mean, they upload their trailers themselves, their information themselves. Put the synopsis, give us the price, mm -hmm. and we'll do all the marketing for them. Right now, we're not charging because we're still trying to build a site. But soon, we'll charge a small fee to do all that marketing for you on our, on our website. Oh, yeah, you, you charge a, a small fee to the makers, but not to the people no, wanting to... to the, the filmmakers, to the filmmakers, yes. Because <coughs> we'll be getting a lot of web traffic very soon. Okay, so if anybody wants to find out more about Film is Africa, what did you say the URL was? Oh, it's www.filmbizafrica.com. Film is Africa, that's one word? Yes, Film is Africa. Okay, perfect. Good luck with that. Thank you, Chaka. Thank you, too.